As you know, our goal is to ditch suburbia and live the cruiser lifestyle. But we have a few years, 2025, until we get to do that. So we've decided to buy a for now boat that will live on Lake Superior and allow us to get some sail time and share some great lake adventures. But first, we have to get a boat. So today we're sharing option number one. We are currently suburban homeowners. We'd love to be sailing cruisers, but for now, we're in the middle. It's a pretty exciting day today. I'm going to look at a boat. Uh, unfortunately, the boat is located down on the Texas-Oklahoma border, so I have to catch a Southwest flight to go and see it, but uh, looks like it should be fun. As promised, I'm gonna shoot some uh, video here on uh, 1995 Catalina 320. I'll start up the bow here for you. Um, not quite sure what kind of anchor that is, but that's uh, about the right vintage. Got a nice big anchor locker there with a electric windlass which will should help me out uh, it's pretty deep second anchor in there and uh, that further looks like it's in good shape I'm not going to unwrap the jib here but Got the UV protection on it. Running rigging's a little, a little old, but it looks serviceable. And uh, same with the hatches. They're uh, a little bit dull, but I don't see any crazing. And the the deck is deck is in actually in really good shape. Uh, standing rigging. I don't see any rust on that, um, and it's pretty, uh, you know, looks like it's in good shape too. The uh, main sail here is kind of crispy, which is good. Sails have relatively few hours on them cover probably wants a refresh I'm guessing but you'd do that along with the bimini and if we'd need to put a dodger on there too so but the frames look good uh, cockpit back here there you uh, Stern locker is nice, and there's a walk-through transom and a wash down there, and it looks like that's all in good shape. Um, I took a look at a winch a little earlier, and it looks like it's in good shape too, been covered up. Nice big. Nazareth here. So put my leg in there, how much room there is in there. This is a air conditioner here. I'll step down into the cabin for you, show you your galley. Galley's in pretty good shape. Uh, some of the drawers are a little stiff. Um, I can't get that up again, but oh, there it is. Dry 
my storage there. Countertop's in good shape. Stove has hardly been used too. It's good, it's clean. Um, and the fridge, freezer is pretty good size, bigger than most that I've seen. Moving forward here, it's my nav station. A little bit of condensation damage along the bottom of there. You might want to replace one or two of those little panels. This cushion needs to get replaced. And uh, a little damp under here. I don't know if we still got a little leak or something somewhere. Up in the V-berth here. Got these nice removable panels. And uh, the water tank sits under there, the forward tank. A little bit of trim issue here. But uh, not too bad. Under here is where we got our battery storage. Big, uh, two big batteries. Might want to switch that over for a, have a starter battery. In addition, over by the engine, I've read some people do that. Nice big head, and uh, no wood in the in the head. Sure, right there. And uh, it's all in working order. That up again. Nice bright big aft cab in here. Got access for the back of the engine under here. And uh, good, uh, good amount of storage here. Got a few drawers, a little stiff. Everything needs a little sand down to kind of. It's been. You know, it'll work a little bit, I suppose. Um, there's a little bit of raw along here too, so some of this wood needs a little bit of attention. But uh, too bad. Come back to the galley here. You know, there's quite a bit of storage here. Clean. All right. Well, check out the helm here. I'm guessing these are the originals as well. Yes, sir. And uh, sailing instruments, no autopilot or anything. No, sir. Yep. And that concludes the commentary and walkthrough of for now boat option number one. After that, Stefan headed back to the cold tundra of Minnesota, where we discussed our thoughts and got ready to go check out for now boat option number two. What do you think? We'd love to hear your thoughts on options number one. Just leave a comment below and make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss the tour of Fernabo option number two.
Thanks for watching.